Hi, I'm Tom, and I'm here with Ginger for adoption. And we also have Ginger's foster mom, Frances, with us. And we'll talk with Frances a little bit about Ginger in just a minute. But first, let's uh, introduce you to this wonderful little dachshund puppy. She's about, oh, three and a half to four months old at this point. And uh, she is an adorable little girl. She's very loving, as you can see. Loves to give kisses. Loves to be held and carried around, doesn't she? And she's very stable. She doesn't have a mean bone in her body. She's not fearful of others. Uh, she's a very outgoing, charming puppy. What I'd like to start with is a little bit of a temperament assessment on this puppy to show that she is very comfortable with being handled, and she's comfortable with somewhat invasive handling as well. So I'm going to start by pulling on her ears, placing my fingers in her mouth. Look at how calmly she reacts to that. Putting my face to hers, I get rewarded with kisses for that. Pulling on her coat, playing with these paws, tugging on this tail, nothing disturbs her. She's just happy to be interacting with someone. Yeah, I can't flip you. You don't want to be flipped, huh? She's a very sweet, gentle, happy, playful puppy. I've got a few treats here. We'll see if we can get her interested in them. And what I'm doing is holding on to the treat so that she has to work around my fingers. She shows that she respects the fingers and she's doing a great job of it. Being very careful not to put those little puppy teeth on my fingertips. So I'll reward you with that one. You did a great job. You want another one though, don't you? There you go. She definitely likes to eat. So that's a good thing. We love puppies that have good appetites, don't we? And if I put my face to her while she's having a little treat, she does not mind at all. Here's one more. I got a big one for you. Let's, come on, I want to turn you around. Everybody wants to see you. There you go. There you go. So there's no growling, no nipping. When she has a treat, she even lets me take it right back away from her. No food aggression with people whatsoever. So Frances, why don't you tell us a little bit about how she's doing at your home? I know you have another, two other dogs actually, and uh, you spend a lot of time with your dogs, don't you, during yes, the day? Yes. Um, she likes to play with Lacey. That's my Boston Terrier. Lacey's four years old. So Lacey's still a playful girl. Yes. Plenty and of energy for Ginger. We have an older dog, a, a <clears throat> retriever chow mix that's probably 13 by now. I keep saying he's 12, but I think he's probably 13 by now. He's he's probably got arthritis and he doesn't get around too good and he, he doesn't want to play. But he warns her with a growl, get away from me. But she still, she's curious about him. She wants yeah, to. Yeah, she wants to make friends with everyone. Yeah. Well, she's met quite a few dogs here at my house as well when she was with me for a day. And she loved every dog she met. She yes. sees everybody as a friend, including the 100-pound Rottweilers. So she has no fear. Yeah. She just wants to get along with everyone. We don't, she... we don't have any cats, <clears throat> but, and we don't have any children, but I do have a granddaughter that's 10 months old, and, and she has been around the granddaughter. Oh, really? And how did she react around? She the just baby was baby? curious, wanted yeah. to sniff, and oh. but she wasn't, you know. Well, that's good exposure. Didn't, you know, nip at her or anything. She of just course. wanted to sniff yeah. on her. Well, you haven't seen any nippy behavior no, in her, have you? Not at all. She's a very, very stable puppy. So, how does she do in the house? Does she like to run around and play and get oh, into yes. things? Yes. I would imagine she she's a bundle of energy. Chew on shoes. <laughs> <laughs> She, uh, we she, have some bones from to chew on. And she yeah. likes those too, but good. if a shoe is just as good if she can find one. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's her puppy stage. She's teething right. right now, so she needs to have lots of toys to chew on and have a little guidance as well at right. this time. It's understandable. Because she'll, she'll go for uh, electrical cords, whatever. Oh, you have course. to really watch her about Of course. Stuff like at that. this age, they all do that. That's true. Yeah. Good. Um, is she pretty good about pottying outside when she gets the chance? Yes, when she, 
I think I'm more trained than she is right now. I know when to take her out, but yeah. if I get a little bit lax and, and don't get her out in time, she, she has had a couple of accidents of in the house. But yeah. She's getting the hang of it. Good. And the finding consistency is a right. big thing in her life, I'm sure, with that. It helps a lot. Well, great. And I can imagine everybody who meets her family come over, they just adore her, don't they? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, she is a, an adorable puppy. I love this little one. Okay. Well? She's, um, we started out putting her in the crate at night, but uh -huh. she, um, she'd cry until she realized we weren't going to come get her. Uh -huh. And then um, one night, I, it was storming, and uh, we just put her in the bed with us. And that's she's, where she's been? That's where she's been. Now tell me, you know, I find about 50% or more of the dachshunds love to burrow. Does she like to get under the covers, burrow a little bit, or is she a top sleeper? No, she she likes to get on top of the covers okay. and, and curl up next to you. Yeah. Um, she likes to be touching. Um, she stays in her crate when we're not at home. Mm -hmm. And she's always glad to get out of it when we get back sure. home. But, but she... Uh, if we're there and we put her in for some reason, like yesterday we were moving something in the house and uh, we didn't want her underfoot where we'd step on her, so we put her in the crate and oh, she didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> She's a very people-oriented puppy. Yes, very she much so. She wants to be with her people at all times. Very possible. much so. That's true. Okay. Well, how about we get uh, a few of my little dogs out here. Okay. And maybe a big dog even. And uh, let them hang out with Ginger so you can see just how she does when introduced to a new dogs. You'll see that she's not fearful really. She likes to interact with new dogs and uh, make friends very easily. So we'll be right back with several of my dogs. Here we have Ginger meeting some of the members of my pack. We have my senior Rottweiler Heidi here and my pit bull mix Ralphie. We have our little foster visitor Bambi here today. And Annie and Poppy and our Bassett Baxter is out there exploring but he'll be back in a minute. Now everybody's getting a chance to meet Ginger and Ginger's getting a chance to meet them and uh, she seems to be very happy to be out here with them. Yes you are baby. Look at you. Getting to know everyone. Certainly not afraid of a Rottweiler. Hey, we'll puppies. Baxter loves little puppies. He's very happy to meet her. Slobbered on Ginger by this basset hound. I think she's taking a liking to Baxter and to Heidi. She likes the big dogs. Well, Ginger, 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 where'd you go? There you are. Hi, Ginger. Ginger. Ginger, there you are. Samson, you're back. No, she gets lost. 
underneath the big dogs. <laughs> but I can tell that my dogs really like her from the way they're reacting. They think she's a good girl. She is compared to these monsters, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, we've shown you that Ginger is a very sweet puppy, very stable and loving with people. Ooh, She's in a wonderful foster home where she gets lots of love and guidance. <laughs> she certainly loves other dogs. It's very social. And we think that Ginger is just a wonderful puppy. We hope that her forever home is watching and that we can get Ginger to your family very soon. Thank you for watching Ginger's adoption. Pop, pop, quiet.